Tonight I'm going to be making a vegetable lasagna in the 12 cup Simply Ming rice cooker. I'm going to be uh, using this eggplant here as the noodles. So if you wanted to use real noodles, it's not a problem. You would use something like this. These are oven ready lasagna noodles. There's no boiling required. So you would put these in um, just as they are. You don't have to pre prepare them, but I'm going to go ahead and use that eggplant today instead. And I'm going to be using ricotta cheese. I have some Parmesan here that I'm going to be grating some fresh on there. I have zucchini. I have spinach. I might add some kale. I don't really know yet. I have to see how it kind of builds and looks. And then I'm going to be using some shredded mozzarella. I actually had some, uh, I wanted to use a chunk of mozzarella and slice it myself is how I prefer to do it. However, I left the chunk of mozzarella on the counter and forgot to put it in the refrigerator when I brought it home from the store this morning, so it had to be thrown away. So I'm going to have to substitute with shredded mozzarella cheese instead. So I'm going to go ahead and get things sliced and then get started. So I've gone ahead and sliced up all my vegetables. I have my eggplant sliced up about a quarter of an inch thick and I'm thinking I might need three layers so I have three layers set but if I don't then I'll just use the two. I have my zucchini and they've been cut into these planks so that they're really going to be easy to lay down inside of there. And then I decided to go ahead and cut up some shallots so I can throw that in there as well. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put the eggplant into a glass Pyrex bowl. And I'm going to toss them with some olive oil and some sea salt so that I can start getting those ready to be used for the layers. And then we're going to go ahead and start on the next step. So we're going to go ahead and start with one and a half cups of your tomato sauce and I'm using a tomato basil. You use whatever suits your fancy. In goes one egg, two eggs, and three eggs. I have here a three-fourths of a cup of ricotta cheese which I'm going to just put right in there. According to the recipe, Lastly, we have three-fourths of a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, so that's going to be delicious. And then we're going to go ahead and stir that around, make sure I get all of it out of that container there. And this is going to go ahead and be the sauce mixture. Now when I've done this in the oven before, I usually separate my ricotta cheese as its own layer, but we're going to follow the directions. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all incorporated, and then we'll move on. All right, it's time to start building. So we are going to start by placing a layer of the eggplant. Let's see if I can get it spaced out like so. Let me try a lower one there. There we go. And this ladle here, we're going to go ahead and ladle some of that sauce mixture onto there. And then I'm going to put some spinach on that. That's going to be my spinach layer. good. Now, as I said, this is where I would have loved to have freshly sliced mozzarella, but I'm going to have to use the mozzarella shreds, which I'm sure will be fine. Get a little bit on there. Get a little bit of the more layer of eggplant, which as I said, I'm substituting for the noodles. This is where you'd normally put your noodles down. Another bit of the mixture. A little different than I've done it before, but recipe must have a reason for it, so we're going to follow it. And then on that one, I'm going to put on the zucchini and I didn't do them too terribly thick so I tried to make everything sort of uniform in thickness so that it all cooks somewhat evenly. A 
Get some of these little pieces on here. Maybe we'll do a few that way just to make sure we get some good coverage. Alrighty. Get in there with the microplane grater. Get a little more Parmesan on top of those guys. Not too terribly much. You don't want to overpower it. sprinkling of the mozzarella just a little I'm gonna get on here with our last layer and you want to pay attention to your max line you don't want to go over the max line so keep everything under that max line there final bit of sauce That is exactly just enough sauce for this. I balled that pretty well. I think I'm going to top it off with a smidge and a kale for posterity. I think we're going over the max line a little bit. Let's make sure we're all down. So that looks good. Going to top it with a little bit of salt here, just a smidge. And we'll go ahead and get this ready to bake. Almost forgot the shallots. I wanted them on an earlier layer, but we're just going to throw them on top. Okay. Okay, so it's plugged in. Going to go ahead and power it on. And I think I'm going to go down to the bake mode and then just go ahead and Come on, press the start button. So what it's going to do is you see it chasing itself there, that line, and it will do that till it gets down to, I forget the number, 12 minutes or 10 minutes or something like that, and it will count down the last of those minutes. So we'll go ahead and let it do its thing. So this has been cooking about an hour, and if you could smell this, you would be salivating. You would have to be. It smells amazing. So it's turned itself on to the warm feature automatically. We're going to go ahead and open it up and have a look. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. So it looks like you can see that it's bubbling. And we're going to see if the... Oh, this goes right on down, which means that the eggplant is tender. So it's done. We're going to go ahead and get a bit of this out and have a taste. So here's a piece of the vegetable lasagna. It's cooled down a little so that the layers would solidify a little bit. And you can kind of see them all right there. And I've just shaved a little bit of Parmesan right on the top just for aesthetics. We're going to go ahead and give this a try and see how we did. Mmm, smells so good. Oh, that's really good. Mm-hmm. You can get the cheese in there. It's not overpowering. I got a little bit of everything, actually. The eggplant is really tender. The zucchini has a good flavor to it. So this was, this was uh, done pretty well. I like how it came out. And there you go. And as I've said, um... Or I might have said, I think next time I'm going to do this with the noodles and some ground beef or some meat of some kind. And we'll try that type too. So vegetable lasagna in the rice cooker.